out of my schedule, which actually never, ever happens. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the ARC framework, which we're going to go into certain components, not all components of it tomorrow. And, and some of it, you know, we've really built up to it today, and I've probably shared some stories that I would usually share tomorrow. But I want to tell you the story about how ARC came to be. Um, and I hope that none of these people will ever take the webinar, but I'm just going to take a calculated risk. When I first got my job at the trauma center, as I said, I was coming from community-based settings. And one of, the thing that, one of the things that the National Child Traumatic Stress Network grant allowed the trauma center to do was to start to take trauma work into the community. Prior to that, the trauma center was very much outpatient focused. So I got hired there to, to do just that. And the first project that, that I had to work on was in, um, let's just pretend it was the Idaho Public Schools, um, even though the trauma center is not in Idaho. And when I got called into this project, I thought, this is really good. There was um, a public school situation. And the classroom that I got called to support was called um, the Isolated Behavior Lab Classroom. Okay, if you're still paying attention, you've now had a response. <laughs> How many of you would like to go to an isolated behavior cl lab classroom for anything? Not very many of you, right? And in fact, who does it feel like it should be in that particular classroom? Maybe like, I don't know, lab rats or something like that. There's a scientific feel. But the good thing was that the school really noticed that this was a classroom that needed support, that a lot of the kids in the classroom had experienced lots of difficult things. So the kids aren't necessarily the story, although the composite was kids ages 6 to 12. This was elementary school. Most of them had been kicked out of at least four schools prior. They were, they were ages 8 to 12. And all of them came from difficult areas of the city, were bused into this particular school. Uh, a high percentage of them had lost parents to homicide. And Again, that's not the story. The story behind ARC is that on my first day, I got really, really excited. You know, so I'm excited. I've got this new job at the trauma center, and I go into the school, and, you know, hi, I'm Christine. I'm going to be working, you know, with the children in the behavior lab. Um, and not from the child, but from the adult. What I ask people to do is try to guess what's the first thing that someone said to me. What was the first thing that I heard from the adult? Good luck. Well, that would have been very nice. I would have appreciated that. That wasn't it. What else do you think? Run. No, I didn't hear run, but you're getting closer. Why? 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 No. Keep yourself safe. No, that would have been very nice, too. No one cared about me at all there, quite frankly. That's just a once a week, you know, therapist consultant person. No one cares about those people. Go away. Huh? Better you than me? No. So, what? She's like, I got to get my guess in here. I wouldn't want your job. No. I've actually, no one's ever guessed this. Keep them out of my classroom. No. Now, it's not that I didn't hear all those things after this, but the first thing that someone said to me was, if you're not a drinker now, <laughs> you will be. And, you know, it seems silly, and I always, you know, tell the same story that I really won't go into detail about how much wine consumption I had, fought, you know, in the year. Um, but it was really powerful for me, and, and it was powerful for lots of reasons, because I really felt like, and this was at a time in the field where we were really being told to go in and do particular clinical interventions with kids. And if you go in and do your intervention, you know, hopefully everything will be better, which didn't usually happen. Because one of the things that I was very aware of is that I could go in every Monday. That was my day. And I could be a great therapist. You know, I was OK. I could do my therapy, and I could support the teacher, and I could run groups with these kids. And I did. But the fact of the matter is that no matter what, every single day, that attitude, you know, that way of understanding them was being reflected to them, right? Every single day. They're horrible kids, they're delinquent kids, they're, you know. And it really got me thinking about a framework for intervention that really could build 
a context for supporting therapeutic intervention that I really felt like the most responsible thing to do, which is not always the easiest thing to do, it would be much easier if Margaret and I decided to do a 12-week group <laughs> um, instead of a comprehensive framework, but that the responsible thing to do was really to build a therapeutic framework you know, that was trauma-informed that could be applied to all the different contexts that our kids show up in, right? Because in, in many, many ways, the last place kids who've experienced complex trauma show up is in clinics, you know, in private practice and those kinds of settings. The majority of those kids show up in special education classrooms and juvenile detention centers and hospitals and residential centers and foster care and all of these things. So that's what we really intended to do with the ARC framework, and that's really the goal behind it. The other goal behind it was really to, and some of this is on a slide, to allow practitioners some creativity. You know, we are very aware that there's so many practitioners out there that are so creative in their work, and that by building a principle-based framework, people could take concepts and do really great things with them and adapt them to the needs of their clients um, or their system. So that was some of the thinking behind it. ARC really looks at three primary domains. There's 10 building blocks of ARC. The first domain is attachment. Big surprise, because we haven't talked about that at all as being important. Um, and we have four areas that we look at in attachment, which we will go over. Then we have the R is self-regulation, and the C is competency. Okay, and, and each of them have a block attached. And then the final block is trauma experience integration. Um, which essentially, if you're doing all of the other things in ARC, you're working on trauma experience integration. It really is the culmination of all the ARC blocks. 